Ryan Garcia has been very big in the headlines lately. There's been a lot of discussion going on with Ryan Garcia, and a lot of people believe that he has gone insane, that he has snapped, that he is having some form of mental breakdown. Now in this video, I'll be breaking down my thoughts on what's going on with Ryan Garcia, and to tell you guys the truth, not to stall out too much, I don't believe Ryan Garcia is actually really going through a mental breakdown. And this video is going to be demonetized because I'm going to be talking about some really deep topics, some very sensitive issues. So if you guys can't handle that, if you guys aren't into listening to real world stuff and, and things that are really, really hard for, for just the average person to, to listen to, this may not be the best video for you guys to watch, but I do think everyone should watch it anyways. So Ryan Garcia has been making a lot of claims as of late, and all the news headlines, all the reports, everyone <clears throat> in the boxing scene pretty much, as well as the news pretty much, are all claiming that Ryan Garcia is crazy and that he's insane and he needs help and that there's a good chance that the Devin Haney fight doesn't even happen now due to all these factors. Now, Ryan Garcia has made a lot of claims. He has said a lot of stuff. And before we even break down if what he's saying is accurate and if what he's saying is truthful, I think we should all consider the fact and the notion that Ryan Garcia has clearly, clearly gone through some form of trauma in his life. And he's gone through experiences that have truly, have truly caused a very negative impact on his mental state and his mental well-being. Now he's claimed, and since his video is demonetized, I can say it, he's claimed that he was raped at two years old. Now, I believe that that would be a ridiculous claim or thing to make up. If you're the type of person that would make that up about yourself and say that you were raped at two years old for publicity or for clout, that would be absolutely disgusting. So I believe that that is true. and. I feel that's extremely tragic, obviously, and definitely has had a negative impact on Ryan and definitely is affecting how he's behaving now. Why would Ryan Garcia make that up? Why would he claim that he was raped at two years old? Now, obviously, we all have questions. How does he know he was raped at two years old? You're two years old. It's very difficult for you to have any form of recollection of it happening or any form of memory of it. How he knows, I have no idea. Somehow he found out, and I believe that that is true. I do think that happened, and it's extremely tragic, and it's sad, and I feel that we need to have true compassion for Ryan and pray for him, and it is a really sad thing, and I believe it. I fully believe this part, and I don't think anyone should really be debating about this element of it, and I don't know who did it to him. He said it was a family member. I don't know if this family member had higher connections or was just a disgusting individual who meant nothing and didn't know anyone and didn't have any form of power or authority but was just a disgusting person. I don't know the exact details. He claimed it was a family member. So Ryan Garcia had that when he was two years old. He said that's where it all started. That's where it all began. And by saying that's where it all started and it all began, he's implying that he has seen some disgusting degenerative or degenerate things throughout his life since then. Now he's claimed that he's seen that he was tied up, taken away, and has seen children being raped. And I'm going to be honest with you guys. If Ryan Garcia is making this up, it is absolutely disgusting. And it is truly a disgrace. Now, is he making it up? <laughs> is he making this up? I kind of feel like I'm putting myself at a little bit of risk breaking down how I feel about the situation, but I feel that nothing Ryan Garcia said was a shock to me, personally. For the research that I've done in my life, I've known about a lot of stuff going on for a while now, so when I heard Ryan Garcia say this, I didn't think he was crazy, and I still don't think he's crazy, because I truly do feel this world is a lot more disgusting than people realize. I think even I don't understand how disgusting this world is. I think if any person truly understood the evils of this world, it would be very difficult for them to keep going. And what Ryan Garcia said with what he saw happen to children and it being in certain locations such as Bohemian Grove and 
elements of that sort, I personally don't find it too crazy. I personally don't find anything that he said too shocking or too unexpected. And if Ryan Garcia is making this all up, it's truly disgusting, it's truly terrible. But the the reason that I'm putting more stock into what Ryan is saying is he's being completely gaslit from every angle. I understand Ryan Garcia might have snapped a little bit. If he's gone crazy, maybe people need to consider why has Ryan Garcia gone crazy. If Ryan Garcia is insane and he's snapped and what is this guy talking about? Instead of talking about that fact, how about people talk about what caused him to go crazy? Why did Ryan Garcia snap? Do you guys think that maybe what he saw or at least claims to have seen is what has caused him to go down this spiral, this spiral of alcoholism and this spiral of rants and this tirade he's gone on. Do you guys think that maybe because he's telling the truth and he did see this stuff, that is why he's behaving this manner and that is why he has gone crazy and has broken down. And I really feel for Ryan Garcia. I think it's truly a, a tragic thing. And I do 100% believe that Ryan has gone through many forms of trauma throughout his life when he was young, as he mentioned. And if this is true, if he did get tied up and taken to a place for some form of ritual of some kind and did experience this and did see this, it is truly, truly sad. And I am a little concerned for Ryan Garcia's life now. I'm a little concerned that something might happen to him and that he's putting himself at risk. Hopefully he is protected by God and our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ protects him and grants him safety throughout these trials and tribulations that he's going to be going through in his lifetime. But I I genuinely believe that Ryan Garcia, if he is crazy, there's a reason he's crazy. He isn't just some drugged up, drunk psycho. He has a reason to be acting the way he is. And as I said, if Ryan Garcia is lying about this and if these are fake and he's using this to either pull out of a Devin Haney fight or create publicity for himself or to give himself new support. If he's doing any of this or to victimize himself, if he's doing any of this and it's not true, if any of what he's claiming is not true, I think that's truly, truly degenerate. And I feel that I can never respect him or enjoy watching him or or be a fan of him ever again because these are some massive, massive statements he's making. But because they're so massive and because they're so unprovoked, on our end at least, there's no reason for Ryan to be talking about this unless it has happened and unless it's true. Because of that fact and the, because of the fact that the media and the people around are completely making him look crazy instead of actually listening to what he's saying, I think there's some truth to it. We need to pray for Ryan Garcia. I don't want this video to be too long. I feel I've made all the points I needed to make. We live in a disgusting world, guys. I think we all know this. I feel this has been much more documented as of late. However, I did know about a lot of the stuff since summer of 2020. That's when I really did a lot of research about it. And it's funny because everything that I knew started to slowly get revealed as of late with the whole Jeffrey Epstein situation. But even then, that's literally the tip of the iceberg. It goes way deeper than that. It gets way more disgusting than that. And Ryan Garcia is not even going into the iceberg by claiming what he's claiming. And he is getting attacked from all angles. Ryan Garcia, you need to make a statement publicly claiming that you're not suicidal. I feel that would be smart for you just as I'm doing. I'm not suicidal. I know it's kind of crazy that I have to say that for this type of video. That's probably only going to get a couple hundred views anyways. But I'm not saying what Ryan's saying is true, but I think we need to at least let him speak and listen to him and have compassion for the guy. And more of the truth will be revealed, hopefully. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Have a good one, guys. God bless. I'll see you guys later. Peace.